What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Pacific Palisades and about to tour this incredible newly constructed modern home right behind me. From walls of glass to a flat backyard, ocean views, rooftop deck, we got a lot to see today. It's gonna to be a good episode, so make sure to stick around. Now, stats on the house, we got five bedrooms, five full baths, two half baths, approximately 8,000 square feet of interior space, built on a 10,300 square foot lot, and this property is currently on the market for $11,995,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the listing agents, Adam and Ali Jarrett, for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. Now, let's begin. On the exterior, we have the driveway taking us up to the two-car garage. And right here, we have the walkway going straight to the front entry. Beautiful modern architecture. I love the cantilever design they have over the front door. Not to mention, we can see the peak of the rooftop deck from here. Now, let's go inside. All right, everyone, before we start touring this home, I wanna briefly talk about this front door design. Developers spent $35,000 for this door. It's super heavy and check this out. Mikey, let's get a close up. We have the fingerprint scanner right here for extra security. And when you lock this door, it locks from multiple different latches. Check this out. So we have the bottom here on the other side. And if you continue, it actually goes in more. Mikey, let's get a close up on the one above and check this out. It's impossible to kick in. It feels like you're walking into a vault. This thing is so secure. Another cool detail, we have a lot of cool art throughout this property. This is one of them, we'll mention the artist as well. Now let's continue our tour. This is the first floor where we have the kitchen, family room, all the good stuff. Before we do that, we have two rooms to cover here. Starting with this one, we have the laundry room, washer dryer, you get a sink, upper storage, everything you need. And this little staircase takes us up to the two car garage. We briefly mentioned it on the outside. So where we have the garage, nice epoxy floors, some storage, and I mean, we have a beautiful Ferrari California and Mercedes 190 SL. You seem like more of a Mercedes guy, right? I am, if I have to choose one of these cars, I would go with this one. So timeless, look at it. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool, right? Let's go back in. I'll hold the door for you guys. Now, second room right here, let me turn on the lights. Oh, there you go is the powder room for this level. Really unique vanity design, Mikey. Let's get a close up. I love the curvature on this countertop, fabricated countertop with a hidden drain. From my angle, you can't even see the drain. And there you go. Beautiful stone back wall, modern light fixtures. Now let's go back to the entry. Like I mentioned earlier, this is where we have the kitchen, family room. I'm gonna start this way. We have a bar area here, kind of like a lounge area. Let's get a close up on these beautiful onyx countertops. They're nicely backlit. We have the bar seating here. It's a dual elevation. And right here we have the wine fridge. A lot of drawers for extra storage. Beautiful built-ins for you to display all your wines and spirits. We got a sink right here. Overall, great bar that complements this side of the home. Now, before we wrap up this section, here's another really cool piece of art. Logo of an amazing brand and I'm assuming this is Steve Jobs. And lastly, to kind of tie up this space, we have an old sided gas fireplace here, clad with beautiful stone. Looks gorgeous. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm just curious, and we don't usually see uh, these open fireplaces with that big of a gap between the top and bottom. Um, I guess, how do, they, how do they support this? Is this is this structurally supported by the glass? Ceiling mount supported from the ceiling, and this is mounted to the floor. So they all kind of support each other and glasses in between. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool detail. Right in front of it, we have the formal dining area, I guess, but it's nice and open. We have a table for eight here, very sleek, very minimalist. 
And I want to briefly talk about the space right here. We have the gorgeous staircase design. It's all open, clad with glass. And I love how they kind of recessed in all this glass to the staircase design right here. We have the stairs going down to the basement level as well as going up to the second floor of this home. We're going to talk about those spaces later. But now let's talk about this amazing kitchen. It's very sleek and minimalist. I love the massive island design up front. And here's the fun fact, developers spent over $250,000 to build out this amazing kitchen. And this kitchen was actually designed by an Italian company called Arc Linea. And they're not just a cabinet manufacturer. They come in, they design the entire kitchen for you, pick up the countertops, pick up your appliances, and most importantly, pick up your layout and all the functions of your kitchen. So this whole built out, all the way to installation is done by them. Let's start. We have the gloss cabinetry here, some storage, island, bar seating on this side, beautiful chandelier above. Wrapping around, they use the same countertops. Also did a waterfall edge here. Let's show this detail. We love these. Pop-up plug, there you go. Gotta have those. Gotta have these, right? And continuing the island, we have everything pretty much paneled. Really cool commercial sink, des uh, sink design here. And check this out, Mikey, let's get a close up. Look at this detail. That's nice to have. Right? We need, uh, we need to get one of these for our kitchen. There you go, we should. This company, they thought of every single detail. We have the dishwasher nicely paneled in on this side. And your island setup continues. At the end, we have the paneled fridge. There you go. Two sides and freezer drawers. Double of everything, there you go. With that soft close, which is really nice. Continuing the kitchen. This is a section I really like. So they custom fabricated this stainless steel countertops here. And actually, Mikey, we need to get a close up. They have their branding actually on the countertops here, which is really cool. Can't guarantee we'll be able to see that on camera, but we'll uh, throw them in the description, I At guess. At least we made the effort, right? And they use the same stainless steel countertops also as a backsplash. Look at the size of this kitchen vent. It's a like commercial grade. Let's get a close up on this griddle, which is great to have. Make some pancakes in the morning. Built-in gas cooktop, more built-ins, beautiful cabinetry. Yeah, I gotta ask you, Ennis, uh, other than the uh, pop-up ones on the island, I see very few outlets. Where, where do you plug in your appliances and stuff? Look underneath. Okay, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. We saw this in another house. Yeah. Uh, in Beverly Hills. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, they had that detail as well. I know in the future, one thing this kitchen's not gonna have. What? Uh, rust, because there's a lot of stainless steel around <laughs> there. True. Also, look, imagine having plugs on that backsplash. It would have kind of broken up the design. It's way sleeker and cleaner this way, you know? Yeah, it looks really good. All right, we have more built-ins, microwave, ovens, all that good stuff here as well. This actually is a really cool detail. Check this out. Let's see? We have a full-size wine fridge here. Yeah, that's really cool. Which is really cool. If y'all want a better look at their logo. Yeah, I was gonna say, there you go. There you go. Good one, Mikey. Mikey, actually, get it. let's get a close up here. They even have it on the shelves as well. This is a true bespoke custom kitchen. Really is. Truly. And check the other side out. Love these doors as well. Whoa. A little shelf design here. We have these racks, beautiful built-in cabinetry. Everything is push. Nice and easy, right? This is just kind of like a side bar serving area. Yep. Cigar humidor. How cool is that? Yeah, that's really cool. I'm not a cigar smoker myself, but a lot of people out there are. Yep. There you go. And if you don't want to look at it, you can simply close this. It looks very sleek. And there you go. Now, that's the end of the kitchen and actually opens up to the backyard. We have these Fleetwoods pocketing into the walls. We have another dining area on this side. This floor, this level is very open. We have beautiful hardwood floors. We have the entry right there, formal dining room, kitchen. And now let's talk about the family room. Family room is actually a little bit lower than the rest of the floor here. We have two steps coming down. Nice and cozy seating. We have the beautiful linear gas fireplace design right here. Again, clad with natural stone. We have the TV already mounted. Seating area. And of course we have the corner design here. We have Fleetwood doors pocketing into the walls, opening up to the backyard. We have incredible views, beautiful backyard area. We're gonna tour that in a minute. Now, we have more built-ins on this side and this ceiling mount barn door opens up to the office, which is really cool. Good detail about the office. We have this exterior door. So from front of the home, you can walk directly here and access to the office. So if you're inviting someone or about to have a meeting, they can come straight to your office without having to go through the house. 
Now, let's go check out that incredible backyard. We have this door right here, pocketing in, opening up to the backyard. Nice and easy. That easy. Now let's go open the other side. Of course, this side also tucks behind the wall. Now we have the whole family room opened up to the backyard. We have that beautiful indoor outdoor flow. Before we start our tour, we have the staircase going down to the basement level, which is a great plus. That way from your backyard, you can go straight to your basement. Outdoor seating area over here with a fire pit in the center. Another cool detail, we have the water feature here, adding a little bit of tranquility to this backyard. Now let's talk about this section. We have the e decking, hidden screws. We pick up the elevation from the family room area to the decking all the way to the incredible pool. And this deck pretty much wraps around the entire pool. We have another additional outdoor seating area over here with a gas fireplace. TV is mounted on this side. And the primary bedroom on the second floor kicks out a little bit, thus creates this little covered section right here. And we have the doors already opened up from the kitchen and the dining area to the backyard. Now, let's talk about this outdoor barbecue setup. And I must say, this might be one of the best outdoor barbecue setups we've ever seen. Yeah, you got a lot of options here. Let's, let's go through it. Let's go through them. So we have some open shelving here, sink design on this side. Countertops continue, check this out. We get a little fridge over here. More open shelving, pizza oven. How cool is that? I always wanted one of these, but I think it's probably good that I don't have one. Yeah. <laughs> probably. For my own health. <laughs> my health too, I agree. Uh, outdoor barbecue area on this side and countertops continue. We have an additional outdoor dining area over here and the pool. We have a beautiful Pebble Tech design, spa on the other side. Overall, a really well-proportioned pool for a backyard this size. Now, let's continue. We have this grass section right here and let's talk about these views. We have this canyon in front of us. Soon in the future, this area will be turned into a walkable park, which is a, another great detail. And now let's focus on this side here. It's early in the morning, so we currently have fog, but right there you get a peak of an amazing ocean view. Again, another great plus for this house. You even get a better view from the rooftop. Overall house has a beautiful modern architecture. We have all the bedrooms on the second floor, but before we do that, we're gonna go downstairs and check out the basement. All right, now we're at the basement level. We're gonna start this way. This door opens up to one of the five bedrooms. Nice and spacious. We have the egress access on that side and this bedroom also comes with a full bathroom. Continuing the tour. We have the powder room right here serving this floor and this door opens up the storage closet with a washer and dryer. Now, continuing the tour. Right next door, we have the screening room the developer designed it this way to complement the family room, but you can easily turn this into a proper movie theater if you need to. You already have the built-in speakers on the ceiling, recessed lights, cove lighting. It wouldn't be that much more work to convert the space into a real movie theater if you need to. But overall, another great space. We have comfortable seating here. Now, continuing our tour, we have the family room on our left-hand side. Before we do that, we have this glass barn door opening up to the gym, another spacious room. We have a window for ventilation, cool ceiling-like detail. And right in front of us, we have the family room. Let's check it out. Plenty of seating. Again, built-in speakers, recessed lights. We have the TV situated on this side. What's nice about this space is that you have this outdoor access that I just showed it to you guys on the backyard, which is great. So from backyard, you can come straight to here. Mikey, let's get a close-up here for a second. The floors, take a look at the drains. They could have easily put a, some sort of a metal uh, cover plate for the drain, but instead they did this recessed design with the same floor tiles. Looks really cool. We have these beautiful oversized floor tiles throughout this whole basement level. And the space continues to here. We have a gaming table on the right. I like the little beach influence with all these surfboards we have. I mean, we're between Santa Monica and Malibu, so minutes away from the ocean. You gotta embrace that culture. In front of me, we have the pool table. And continuing our tour, this is where we have the bar set up for the lower level. 
Again, looks gorgeous, just like the first bar that we saw. We have Onyx finishes here, Onyx bar design, lit underneath, and we have the Onyx back wall here, contrasting beautifully. Of course, you have your built-in displays, wine fridge, your sink in the center. Yeah, I gotta ask you, Ennis, we've actually seen uh, maybe five, six backlit bars on this channel, not too many, but this one is extremely bright compared to the ones that we've seen. Is there any reason they put more lights back there? Is it thinner uh, stone finish, you know, but... It really depends on a couple of different things. Number one, it could depend on type of stone you use, right? There are different type of onyxes where some of them allow more light than the other. Uh, second factor could be the lighting that they use, right? If they use more stronger bulbs or LED strips, more light can come through. So it kind of can depend on both of those. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And uh, sorry, we should probably move on, but now you piqued my interest. What if one of these lights goes out? How do they change the bulb? That's a really good question. I hope it doesn't because it would be really sad to remove all this to fix a light behind that or easier fix. You go to the room behind and you open up the drywall, which is way easier. It seems way easier. Drywall, you could patch that in an hour. In an hour, no problem. All right, guys, well, that's it for the basement level. Now let's take the stairs so we can tour the second floor. All right, everyone, here we are at the second floor landing. On this level, we have three spacious guest suites and the primary bedroom. Before we start touring the bedrooms, I wanna briefly talk about the landing area. We have a skylight assembly here, bringing a ton of natural light into the landing of the second floor and all the four bedrooms we have here. Very spacious, a lot of glass railing, and this door opens up to the first bedroom. Let's go check it out. Every single bedroom in this house is extremely spacious. I mean, they could easily qualify for a primary bedroom. First one is right here, king size bed, Windows bring in a ton of natural light. We have a bit of a desk area on this side. And Mikey, let's come on this side first. Walk-in closet, and every single closet in this house is fully decked out, which is great. Right here, we have the bathroom for this bedroom. Decked on floors and decked on countertops, floating vanity design, full walk-in shower with a rain head. Getting out. At the end of the hallway, we have the second bedroom. Really cool baseboard lighting. We also had that on the first floor in the basement level as well. It's really cool. Kind of runs through the whole house, right? Whole house. Second bedroom is right here. Again, very spacious. We have the bed situated here. This one is front facing. That door goes into the walk-in closet. And right here we have the bathroom. Come on in. Same finishes, decked on floors, stone back wall, floating vanity designs, and full walk-in shower. Now, let's get back to the hallway. We have a storage closet right here and laundry room on this side. Washer dryer, you get a sink set up, little bit of storage. Every single level in this house has a laundry room, which is a big plus. Now, let's continue the hallway. We have another bedroom right here. Actually, I want you guys to come inside because I want to show a detail. Mikey, let's get a close up on this uh, door hinge, door handle. So nothing comes out, right? You go in, you close the door. Is it magnetic? It's magnetic. Isn't that cool? I think we've only seen that at one other house ever. One other house, the smart home tour that we had. Yeah. So this one is another spacious bedroom. This one is back facing. We have the full bathroom here. Again, beautiful stone walls and they clad the tub set up with the same stone as well, with the floating vanity. Now, let's go tour the primary bedroom. Also, we have the balcony here shared with the primary bedroom and we have a staircase right here taking us up to the rooftop. We're gonna to tour that in a minute. Of course, we have the fleet with doors also here, pocketing into the walls. Check this out. Massive pivot door opening up to the primary bedroom. Come on in. First, we have a hallway here. Before we cover that, why don't we cover the primary bathroom? Nice and spacious, very sleek design. We have natural stone floors and they use the same materials also as a back wall right here where we have the tub set up. It's a nice jetted freestanding tub. Get a bit of a TV. And your vanity setup is on this side. We have the floating design as well with a towel rack in between. Fabricated countertops. Of course, every, you know, all the drains are hidden. Same stone is also used here. We have the wall fixtures, pendant lights. And right behind you guys, let's start with this one. 
We got a water closet here, nice and closed with this glass. I like that they frosted that. Exactly, a little bit of privacy, right? Mm -hmm. Walk-in shower here, Safe Storm was also brought in this uh, section as well. Rain head, shower head, handheld, steam, I mean everything you need. Yeah. Now, back to the hallway. We have some built-in closets on this side, beautiful cabinetry, I like the brass handles, and this door, also these doors, trimless. There are no trim, so drywall butts up right there, you don't have any trim to cover that up. So inside, this is where we have the closet. Everything is nicely paneled. We have a really sleek design with this closet. I like these paneled systems because you have tracks on the back so you can change the height of any hanger or uh, drawer setup you have, which is great. Customize it to yourself. We have drawer setup here, hanger setup on top, and we have the open shelving on this side. Perfect place for you to, you know, put your bags, shoes, however you like. Yeah, for a second I thought you were mistaken that you could actually move these drawers up and down. But yeah, I looked down here and I've never seen that before. Drawers that you can adjust their height. You can adjust them, yeah. Now, let's go back in. Let's sort of primary bedroom. We have a set of Fleetwood doors stacking to the end, opening up to the balcony that I just showed it to you guys. But now, let's talk about the primary bedroom. First off, just like the other bedrooms, it's very spacious. We have the king size bed situated on this side. Let's talk about this fireplace design right here. They use this beautiful marble clad the whole thing. We have a corner design gas fireplace. TV is mounted on this side. And I'm glad they kind of pushed the fireplace to the corner because we have incredible views and you can see the ocean from here. I mean, that's incredible. Now we got to justify this bedroom and why it's so special. We can do that by opening up the corner design right here. Although we have a beam, technically all these doors disappear into the walls. And to make it even better, they went with a glass railing design. So your views are unobstructed. There's some incredible ocean views back there. Yeah. Now, let's continue our tour. Overall, great size primary bedroom. Recessed lights, again, we have the cold lighting here, baseboard lighting, everything else in terms of design elements that we saw throughout the other bedrooms in the house, they're all brought into this primary bedroom. Now, let's open up these flavor doors. These ones stack at the end right here and open up to this amazing outdoor space. We have the fire pit right in the center, EPA decking here as well, another great outdoor space. Can be used for the primary bedroom or can be shared via this glass door right here and we have the staircase going up to the rooftop let's go check it out all right guys let's go toward this incredible 1500 square foot rooftop deck starting right here on this section this is the front facing area same epec decking outdoor dining area we can get a closer look at the skylight assembly right here that we saw at the landing of the second floor yeah, it's really cool. I, Which is really cool. We rarely see skylights like this. I agree, this is custom made for this house. More outdoor seating area. Check this out. They already have the hookups right here. This is where you would put your future outdoor barbecue area. You have a um, drain line, water line, gas line, so you can have anything you need. Continuing the tour. We have glass railings all around, but to add a little bit of extra safety and functionality, we kind of have a secondary railing here. Perfect place for you to um, put your drinks. Yeah, it's like a little bar almost. You have 20, 30 people up here having a party. Exactly. Everyone can look out at those ocean views, you know? Those ocean views, I know. Fire pit in the center, more outdoor seating area, and it's really good to have a space like this. It's been a while since we toured the outside rooftop deck, but I mean, they're special and they make the best out of California weather. Yeah, it's really nice to have. So now, what else to cover? The views from here, since we're elevated, we can see the mountains on the back, we have this peaceful setting up front. Soon, this is gonna be a park. And of course, on this side, we have the incredible ocean views. Currently, we have a little bit of fog, but I promise you guys, you get an amazing frame of the ocean from here. Overall, incredible house, and this rooftop deck really complements the house. Now, that's it for the tour, but we're gonna spend a few more hours here so we can show you guys how this house looks at dusk.
that's it for the tour. Now, before we end this video, I wanna briefly summarize my thoughts on this house. I would like to start with the location. You're minutes away from Malibu and Santa Monica, right in between, super close to the ocean. It doesn't get much better than this. Also, the whole house gets ocean views, which is a great plus. In terms of some of my favorite details in this house, I gotta go with the kitchen. I thought it was a very bespoke design for this house. I love every single detail and all the functionality they had in that kitchen. Also the bars, Onyx used here on the back wall, as well as the bar we toured on the first floor. They look gorgeous with this backlighting. That's why I wanted to also finish the video here. Lastly, that rooftop deck. Obviously the primary bedroom had an incredible view, but once you're up there, you can kind of get a 360 views. I thought the rooftop deck really complemented this house extremely well. Before we end the video, I wanna thank the listing agents, Adam and Ali, for inviting us out here and allowing us to share their amazing listing. I wanna thank all of you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next week.